With an average of 150 deals per year, Boyne City, Michigan has become one of the most desirable places to live in this area. Hi, I'm Gino D'Angelo, a local Northern Michigan real estate agent, specializing in helping you relocate to Northern Michigan. With competition being as strong as ever, and so many people vying to find a place in Boyne City, you may be asking yourself, how can I be competitive and put myself in the best position to find my perfect place in Boyne City? Now let's jump in. First, you need to determine your budget and financing options. The best place to start is by contacting a qualified mortgage expert. If you don't have one, please reach out to us and we can recommend a few that we work with every single day. Once you speak with your loan officer, they will tell you exactly how much home you can afford, what your monthly payment will be, and even what type of loan you qualify for. There are many types of loans in this area, starting with RD, FHA, VA, or conventional. If you're a doctor moving to the area, several local banks have great physician programs that allow you to purchase homes on very competitive terms. Second, find a real estate agent. Now you may be moving here from downstate or another area, and maybe you just used a real estate agent in Grand Rapids or Metro Detroit. It is important for you to find a real estate agent that knows the Northern Michigan market. Whether it's ourself or one of the other great agents in Northern Michigan, you're gonna want somebody who has experience with the nuances of buying a home in Northern Michigan. You're also gonna to wanna to make sure that agent knows the Boyne City market, knows what houses are selling for. That way you can make a competitive offer and know that you're not overpaying for the home. Next comes the fun part, start looking for homes. Once you've been pre-qualified, you've selected your buyer's agent, now becomes the fun part where you get to go out and look at the homes that are the most interesting to you. Some of the tips we give our clients are to make a list of wants and needs. Now with the market being as competitive as it is, you're gonna to wanna to focus more on your has to haves than your want to haves. Of course, we hope we can get you every single thing you want in your dream home, but sometimes that's just not the case. And the more flexible you are on what the home has to have or what location, the better chances you're going to have of finding a home. One of the more surprising aspects of buying a home in Boyne City now versus five or 10 years ago is how much more expensive the homes have gotten. I remember when you could buy a house in Boyne City for $150,000, $175,000 that was move-in ready in beautiful condition. Now that same home is probably going to cost you three or $350,000. Now, while there are homes in every price range, I wanna make sure that you are aware how expensive it has become to live in Boyne City. A great step, even before you do any of this, is just going onto our website or Zillow and searching for homes to see what is available and what the price of each home is. It's been heartbreaking the couple of times that we've had people relocate to Boyne City for a job only to find out that they could not afford the home they wanted to buy. With that being said, I always tell people to do as much research ahead of time, that way they can make an educated decision when moving to this area. Now, once you've been pre-approved, found your real estate agent, and started looking at homes, you found the home you want, you're going to want to make an offer. Now, as scary as this may sound, the offer process is really simple. There are only a couple of key things you need to think about when making an offer. The price you want to offer, the terms, which means the type of financing, how much of a deposit you want to put down. Typically, we recommend about 1% of the purchase price. How long you want to do your inspection. The typical standard is seven to 10 days. Then you want to think about when you'd like to close, which is usually 30 to 45 days after all of that has been done. And then also think about how much possession you're going to have to give the sellers to give them time to move out. The reason I'm going through all of this today is something I do when I meet with a client called the timing analysis. A lot of people don't understand how long it actually takes to secure a home and move into the home. And often they leave themselves short on time and make it a lot more stressful on themselves than it needs to be. When I sit down with somebody and go through the timing analysis, it usually goes like this. You start looking at a home today, you find a home within two weeks to 30 days typically. Once you get the house under contract, it takes 30 to 45 days to close. Sometimes you have to give two weeks to 30 days for possession. So from start to finish, it really takes you 90 days to buy a house. So if you're hoping to be in your home by April, March, somewhere around there, you really need to start looking in January, which I understand is cold. I understand there's a lot of snow on the ground, but that is a great time to start looking at homes in Northern Michigan because the competition is so low. Once you get the house under contract, the first step is going to be the home inspection. Now there are three things that happen once you do a home inspection. You get the report back and you can either walk away, ask for seller repairs or credits, 
or if the home inspection looks good to you, move forward without asking for anything. Now, there's a lot of stress around the home inspection process, but I'm here to tell you we've had zero deals fall apart this year to home inspection issues. Now, while we've had stuff come up, we've almost always been able to work through them peacefully and with little stress to either party. One thing we don't talk enough about is what happens after closing. There are a few things that you're going to want to make sure to do. One, switch the utilities into your name. Two, make sure you have home insurance on the property, which will happen through your mortgage. And also make sure if you're moving out of a home that you cancel your old home insurance. I can't tell you how many times I've sold a house and a few months later they call me because they forgot to switch over their home insurance. Now luckily they typically get that money back, but you'd rather have that money sooner rather than later, so why wait? The home buying process in Boyne City is very similar to other areas in Northern Michigan. If after watching this video, you'd like more information about buying a home in Boyne City or anywhere else in Northern Michigan, please reach out to me directly at 231-487-6141. And for more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel and leave a comment below if you have any questions you would like me to answer.